If you happen to miss out on the previous career mode, I'll have a link in the description, an annotation on the screen, and a card in the top right corner, so you have no excuse not to go and watch it. Enjoy the video, guys. Hey guys, Sam here. Welcome back to the PSG Career Mode series. Thank you for your support on the series so far. If we could smash 50 likes on this Career Mode episode, then I'll make sure I have more PSG out for you guys. Uh, the more you show your support, the more of this you're going to get. So just go ahead and smash the like if you're watching the video and if you do go on to enjoy this. And also, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do so because there's so much content going up on the channel right now. Everybody seems to be happy with the amount of con content that's going out. I'm very happy. Pretty much two uploads every single day, so it's really, really good at this point in time. Now, last episode, we signed Messi. It was a massive, massive deal because he cost so much. It took so long. Uh, and we finally made him sign with 80 million euros, as you can see in the bottom right corner, uh, along with uh, Cavani going the other way. Unfortunately, Cavani had to leave the squad. Um, you know, not ideal when you're losing players like Cavani. But the biggest problem I had was actually the kit numbers. I didn't know who to give 10 and who uh, should not have 10. And the general consensus was that Messi should have 10 and Ibra should have 9. Um, because apparently that's what they wore at Barcelona. I don't quite remember what Ibrahimovic wore at Barcelona. I don't even remember if it was 9. I thought Henri or Eto was 9. But um, I'm going to give Ibrahimovic 9. And I'm going to give Messi 10. Um, and Lucas, I think, is going to get dropped from the team. Because Di Maria is, I think, too good to get to get dropped. Um, but yeah, I, I think that works out the best. Messi 10 and Ibra 9. I hope Ibrahimovic doesn't leave the squad. <laughs> Because I'm not giving him this, uh, the number that he wants. But apart from that, I also asked you guys what signings you'd like to see. And not many people left a comment about the signings. Um, most people were talking about the kit numbers, which I was surprised about. I thought no one would care which kit numbers was was given. But the two that came up, uh, the two that I saw was uh, Yuri Tielemans, of course, a very popular Belgian. Um, and one of the most exciting prospects of this FIFA. And also, the other one was Paul George Ntep. Now, I don't know if I'm going to sign Ntep because... I have plenty of wingers, especially with uh, Messi joining the team now, as you can see. We have Lovetsi, Lucas, Di Maria, Messi. Uh, you know, there's a lot of options in the wing department. What I do want to do is probably bring in Tillemans as a backup uh, center midfielder. But before we do that, we do have a game uh, right now, today, which is against uh, Ajaxio, I think. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. I'm not French. No, it's not. We have a game against Gazalek, which are a new... A uh, promoted side, I believe, GFC Ajaxio. Um, so it is Ajaxio. I don't know. I don't fucking know, guys. I'm Australian. I'm not French. But nevertheless, we'll have Messi making his debut. Nigelin will probably make his m debut as well. Let's take a look at the starting eleven for this game. It's at home, so we should be absolutely smashing. And of course, we drew our first game to Lille, so we want to pick up our first win in League A, and hopefully, it'll be in this game right now. Here he is, first touches. For PSG, it's Lionel Messi, the brand new signing, joining his teammate Di Maria, the Argentine magician, Lionel Messi. Okay, we have a free kick, and there's so many different players we could put over it, but we're going to put Lionel Messi, 90 free kick accuracy. Can he score his first goal for the club? Oh, just wide. I didn't mean to kick the camera, I'm sorry. Another free kick opportunity for Messi, this time 39 yards out, quite a ways out. Oh my goodness, he was on target this time, but the keeper was there to match it. Great play between Messi and Nainggolan. Messi down the right-hand side now. Surely he's quicker than that, EA. Oh, he gets past his man as well. Takes a bit of a tumble. Maybe on purpose. Saw Ibrahimovic wasn't making his run yet. Didn't want to force anything happening. But he's got the free kick. Oh, Messi now making a beautiful run. It was a great pass from Raja Nyingle and the two new signings. Messi cuts in like it's absolutely nothing and puts it on his left foot. And Messi earns himself the first goal in a PSG shirt. His first goal in a shirt other than Barcelona, a different club. And he's done it fantastically. Cuts in like it was absolutely nothing, like a knife through butter, like a hot, steaming knife through hot butter. And he puts it in with his left foot. And he's going to finish that every day of the week. And that's why he's on the right wing. Great finish. And he puts us up 1-0. Nicely done, Lionel. 
And there it is, guys. Full time, 1-0. Not as many goals as I would have hoped for, but the result and the performance are very, very solid. I thought we played extremely well. They never looked like scoring ever at any point and we just were always on the attack so very well done from the guys Messi picked up his goal uh, which was very good that'll loosen him right up and hopefully he'll be scoring a lot more goals he looks really good in a PSG shirt I don't know if it's just me but he looks really good in a PSG shirt and as you can see not one shot registered by our opponents uh, five shots around target for us I thought we played extremely well they're just passing it around and doing nothing with the ball so we could add more goals if they weren't passing it around all the time but Good game. Nevertheless, it's three points, our first three points of Liga, and we're going to now push on from here for sure. The next game is against Montpellier away. Hopefully this time we're able to score a lot more goals and completely dominate the other team. Um, but yeah, two games, four points. We've got to step up and really take that, that league table by the, uh, by the throat and really show our intentions for this season. But Montpellier away is not going to be easy. But I still think we can do it. That is the starting lineup. Not changing anything from the other game other than Marquinhos coming in for David Luiz. I'd like Marquinhos to grow a little bit more. He's still very young and 82 rated. He's very, very good. And I want him to grow a lot more. Um, so hopefully he can become the next Thiago Silva of this team. And of course, everybody else stays pretty much the same. Um, poor Thiago Monta lost his spot in the midfield. But Nyingolin is an absolute beast. Matuidi and Verratti are absolute beasts. Same front three because they're all beasts. It's just a beastly team, guys. Ibra threads through Nyingolin. Very good start. But Nyingolin can't finish it. Took my time. I didn't finish it early enough. Great start, though. Very promising. Nyingolin finds Messi. Oh, a little bit of a feint from Messi. That's a foul for sure. It's outside the box. And Messi is going to step up for this one. The closest free kick we've had, just 20 yards out. Can Messi get a little bit of dip on this? That might be a bit too much power. He's rattled the crossbar. Nyingolin with a nice steal. Di Maria's right there. And he can't finish it either. And how have Montpellier not conceded there? Ibrahimovic now threads through nine Golan, and this time he's not going to not finish it. This time he's going to slot it away. Nicely done, and nine Golan is an absolute machine. Dude with the high, high work rates is everywhere. And it's, that's, that's all three midfielders. All of them, I think, have high, high work rates. I know Matuidi does. I think Verratti might. And they're just all over the place, man. They're just bossing the midfield. Ibrahimovic calling for the ball, so I'm going to give it to him. Of course, whatever he wants, I will do. What's he going to do, though? He's trying to find an opening. He could finish it from there. Deflection. Ibrahimovic, he is looking for a goal. He's hungry for the goal. It's Di Maria with a nice steal. It's fallen to Ibrahimovic. He picks out Messi outside the box. I thought he was going to curl that in, but Messi is just... He's hungry for a goal, too. Everybody's hungry for a goal. Nyingolin picks out Matuidi. He's got a run from Kurzawa. Beautiful run from Kurzawa. He'll finish it. He doesn't mind. Why is it that our, everybody but our attacking players is scoring? you got Nyingolin who finished it, Kozawa now with a brilliant finish, a brilliant run. It's like, what are you doing all the way up here, Kozawa? It was a great run. Look at him go. He's just like, yeah, yeah, play me through. And Ibrahimovic is just watching like, you know what? I could have done that, but I don't have to do that. I'm Zlatan. Matt Tweedy picks out Nyingolin. Have the shot from outside the box, Nyingolin. He nearly puts it in as well. Verratti latches onto the ball. He's got Messi calling for it. He's got Ibra calling for it. What do you do when Ibra and Messi are calling for it? Who do you give it to? Messi can't finish it. Imagine being Verratti in that instance. Ibra was calling for it and Messi was calling for it. You have to say no to one of them. He said no to Lionel Messi. Uh, but it ended up getting to him anyway. And he unfortunately could not finish it. Ibra now. He's got Messi making a run. Messi is onside. Surely he will finish that. He will. The Messi and Ibra connection working this time very well. Messi finally putting in the goal that he's had so many chances to put in. Oh, Messi. Don't do that to them. That, that was just insane. Messi, stop it, please. Please, you're absolutely killing them. And he's still got it as well. Look at him. If he finishes this, I'm done. I'm done. I'm out of here. Bye. <laughs> I mean... Lionel Messi, what planet are you from, my son? He loses the ball, gets it straight back, doesn't even care. Like he makes it look so, he makes it look like he's playing with like two-year-olds, just dribbling around. I'm like, haha, yeah, you took the ball off me. Oh, great work, man. I'm gonna take the ball off you back now. And he just finishes it like it's nothing. There you have it, full time, four nil. That is the type of result that I want to see in the league. Uh, 
season. I want to see these types of results, man. I want to see four nil. I want to see five nil. Hell, I want to see ten nils. If it if we come up against a bad enough opponent, and Montpellier just were not up to the races today. Lionel Messi five shots, two goals, chest bumping area, and he's fitting into the team very well. Looks like him and Ibrahimovic were linking up well, but you gotta wonder. Is Ibrahimovic a little bit jealous? He hasn't scored in a couple of games. He's struggling to really get involved in the play. Messi is creating space for himself. You gotta wonder, Ibrahimovic might be a, not, not the happiest that Messi is actually doing well. He might want the team to do well, but not necessarily Messi. Okay, and Delect reckon they have a 19 million price tag on Yuri Tielemon. Before it said 12 to 14, so I'm gonna offer them 13 and a half. See what they say to that. Maybe they'll bump down. Uh, that 19 million to something a little less than that. It would be nice to bring him in. No, it is unacceptable. They do want 19 million for him. I'm going to go for 16. After that, we'll just go 19 and just shell out everything we have for this youngster. It looks like 16 million is enough to bring him in. He wants 60k a week. I'm just going to offer him what he has because sometimes this works. He's 76 rated. That's insane, man. He's gonna get to. A, he's gonna be one of the best career mode signings. I'm gonna give him a squad rotation player. See what he says to that. At PSG, surely you're gonna want to join with Messi and Ibra and Verratti and Matuidi and all these players. Okay, it looks like he does want to join, but he does want that 60k a week, which I'm happy to give him if he's happy to be a squad rotational player. Um, and that's just like that's quadrupling your wages that you have right now. How could you say no to that? And there we go, we've got Yuri Tillimon, part of the team now. And that's pretty much all our funds gone. I'm going to save that for like contracts or emergency if we need something later on and we don't have the money. But there we go, Yuri Tillimon will sit on the bench. Nyingalan will probably be the starting midfielder from now on. I haven't changed that in the actual default settings. And Mota and Tillimon will be our backup midfielders. Um, so the team looks pretty good going forward. Tillimon is going to be very good. I'm going to be playing him every so often, but he, he won't be playing every single game. Okay, so I'm here training Yuri Tillimon in Pass Mastery. I think this is... Um, is that... Did I do that right? I'm not sure if I'm doing this right. No, I got negative 1,000. I have to wait till he's onside. There we go. But why isn't Messi latching onto these? Why isn't he doing anything? Why is Messi... Oh, I'm controlling Messi. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't realize that. There we go, that's better. I still didn't latch on to that. Okay, I ended up getting a B in the past mastery. There you have it, C, D, and D was the rest of them. And Messi also got a D in key possession, which is not very good. I want him to get to 95 ASAP. He's really, really close. I'm sure he'll hit it very soon. Uh, but that actually wraps up this episode. I know we only played two games, but the transfers and stuff like that. And next episode, we kick off with a, a game against Monaco, which is huge. El Cachico, if you will, but Monaco aren't really a serious team anymore. As you can see, they're 14th, and they haven't won a game yet, so we'll probably absolutely kill them. Uh, but if you did enjoy this episode, guys, make sure you smash a like on the video. Again, 50 likes, um, and you'll get more of this uh, more often. Just show your support on the video, guys. Of course, you guys have been absolutely killing it. I absolutely love you guys. Subscribe if you're new around here, and I'll see you guys in the next one very soon. Keep it real.